Right, I am back everybody. I have had a shower, I have cleansed my face. And then I remembered it's Friday, so good evening everybody. I hope you've had a lovely week, um, as best you can during this uh, lockdown. But hopefully soon it may be lifted. So it's Friday, so I poured myself a nice glass of Sauvignon Blanc. Cheers. So I'm going to have a little ramble while I put some stuff on my face because I've had about 20 minutes with nothing on my face. Uh, my face feels like... Uh. I was thinking the other day, I was talking to someone and they don't put anything on the face and I was thinking to myself, I'd be like, I'd feel like Medusa had set me in stone. I just couldn't imagine. So like they did say they washed the face in shampoo, so <clears throat> say no more. That's really nice. Could do with being a bit colder though. So, right, what we're doing, I'm gonna start, I think, with the Ordinary Lactic Acid, because I've only done it once this week, so, as I said in my other video, you can't do this too much, especially, well, if you've got skin like a rhino, and you're starting out, then I would suggest you give it a good go, but you can't do this too much, like, say if you're going on Holiday. Oh, someone's just messaged me. About skin, actually. And I just like wanted to say, I'm not like any skin expert by no means. I'm not a doctor. I don't work for any of these products that I, I'm not an, an ambassador. I don't get paid to do any of this. I'm well, saying that, I've had three views on YouTube, so no one's going to pay for that, are they? Yeah, that's nice and tingly. So yeah, I'm just gonna um, have a ramble while I do this. There's no one else to talk to here, really, at the minute. Unless I go over there and I can talk to uh, them, which I'll do in a bit. So then this lactic acid just stripping the skin of the dead skin cells. Really good for uh, sunspots. Oh, that's what I was saying. Like you wouldn't be doing this if you were going to um, Benadorm. No, we won't say Benadorm. We wouldn't be doing this if you were going to Dubai. Oh, Benadorm. I've been to Benadorm. Went twice in one year once. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, because it does make you um, prone to, more prone, the skin more prone to sun da uh, sunburn. So this is just going to sit on the skin now for a minute. I'm going to waft it. What can I waft it with? I'll waft it with a sanitary bag from a hotel. I don't know why I've got that. I don't have a menstrual cycle. Just wrap that dry. And I thought I'd have a little chat to you all. Because I'm not being funny, but there isn't anything on telly, is there? And if you're anything like me, if I see, what's he called, Jeff, talking to Yasmin like that any longer, I'm going to have to drive to, Gren uh, it's not Granada Studios, I'm showing my age now. Granada Studios. It's not Granada Studios now, is it? Yeah, oh, that storyline's getting on my nerves, driving me mad. And her, I mean, if your husband come home with chlam and give you chlamydia, and you know you've not slept with anybody, it's... no, I can't say that. Oh, yeah, I can. It's... Yeah, mm, no, I can't say that. <laughs> Maybe after a few more glasses of wine, I'd say it. And he's, every time he does something, two minutes later, Jeff, I love you, please, I'm sorry, I'll give you my bank card. Oh, on your bike, Jeff. Bloody hell. Come back, Pat feeling, all is forgiven. <sighs> yeah, or if you're sick of watching people vomit back up raw eggs, then you can watch me do this. With a, what, what's more interesting? Coronation Street, and that storyline that's making people want to throw the tellies through the window. People vomiting raw eggs. Or me, drying my face with a sanitary bag. Answers on a postcard. That's nice and dry now, so let that settle in. Um, I'll read. Yeah, and that can be diluted, I forgot to say that. That can be diluted if it does sting, but it shouldn't do it. I got the 10%, it's not stinging me. Ah, right. 
So then a bit of hyaluronic acid. Yeah, so I can't watch Comedy Street at the moment. Oh, and I wasn't um, bad mouthing the raw egg. I don't even know what they call it. He's been naked nomination, didn't he? It's not that now. It's the egg shot, summer, dumber, dumber. but it's for a great cause. I have donated, but I'm not doing it because I can't stand cooked egg, never mind raw egg. And there's the lactic acid. So that is hyaluronic acid, not lactic acid. That's the hyaluronic acid. That's going to penetrate deep down into my skin and make me look like Brad Pitt. Actually, his skin. That could do with some hyaluronic acid from the last picture I saw of him. Not that it matters. And you look like Brad Pitt. Yeah, so I did donate to the NHS, but I'm not doing that because I can't stand egg yolk. I don't even have egg yolk. If I'm one of them, I'm really weird. I cut round the yolk if you have a fried egg. And I don't want to eat a spoonful of sugar or down a pint. I'm not being funny, but has anyone thought about the calories in that? You might as well have a McDonald's. Put a bit of that on my neck, I think. Had a message all the way from France, and my friend who lives in France, saying she liked my video. Yeah, so the neck is important because there are telltale signs of ageing that give you away. If you've got a turkey neck, Hands. You can't put Botox in your hands, not that I'm aware anyway. So I'll stick a bit on there. I mean, I want to grow old gracefully, not. But I do think we shouldn't moan about growing old because it is a luxury that some people don't have. But I'm not being funny, I'm going to be like Cher. And when I'm 70, I'm still here, I want my face to go out the back of a spoon. Glass of this, uh, glass. That's gone to my head, I think. Another sip of that. And then I think, while we're dark talking, the anti wrinkle serum. This is targeted for fine lines. And I'm not vain or anything, I don't do this every day. I just do it when you've got time. I'm rambling now, seven minutes in. So, yeah, like that does let that soak a bit. And have you noticed I brush my eyebrows? Keep them in order. Little tip for you there. If you're like me, put more hair in your eyebrows than on your head. I'd have one. Luckily, I'm quite good with the tweezers to keep them under control during this. And as you can see, because my face felt so dry before, because I put some washing on and stuff, and I had some Amazon parcels that I ordered when I was drunk. I didn't know what they were. I opened them before I started filming and putting products on, I was like concrete and now it's just starting to be really soft and the ordinary products don't have a scent to them, but that can be a good thing because they're not full of crap. Yeah. So, oh, a few other tips. I still can't believe some people don't use anything on the face or wash it in very liquid. God, I can't imagine. Um, skin. First of all, regardless of all these products, You've got to drink lots of water. That would be my number one tip when people say, oh, have you got any skincare tips? I was speaking to someone the other day on Facebook and they don't drink any water. So lots of water. If you, if you are listening to this or you want to get into a skincare routine uh, and change how you look a little bit and for your health. I mean, I'm not a doctor, so don't quote me on any of these like and say it didn't work, but Drink plenty of water and you will definitely see a difference in your skin. And if you don't believe me, take a picture today and then try your hardest to drink water. And if you, if you can't stomach water, because I know it makes some people gig, even though they are drink, uh, drinking raw eggs, uh, wheat cordial, make sure it's sugar-free and get that down your... Or, I always find in the morning, especially in the winter, I boil the kettle and I have warm water rather than cold because it goes down easier. So I put some cold in, put some warm in and drink that. Um... And that will really make a difference to your skin. Um, because you you can't expect... Did that move? Did it move? You can't expect your skin, which is the biggest organ in the body, as far as I'm aware. I'll have to sip you that later. Um, you can't expect your skin to look good if it's like, give me a drink. 
can you? Really? Also, if you smoke, I'm afraid you could be pissing in the wind because that's the worst thing. This is a uh, Palmer's cocoa butter, by the way, and I love that. Sometimes it can smell like biscuity fake tan, but who cares? Yeah, if you smoke, so I use this on my arms and stuff. I mean, there's absolutely no way on this earth that I'm going to like Estee Lauder or Clarins or anywhere like that and buying a moisturizer that's that big for your body, which is all right if you shovel coal on your size two, but I'm not. I think this vest has shrunk. Don't matter it, you've been eating loads. Yeah, so if you smoke tough, you're gonna have bad skin. Well, bad earth skin. Oh, and then people who go, I don't use anything on my skin at all. And I eat McDonald's every day and I've got the beautiful, most beautiful skin. Well, lucky you. You're lucky. Sometimes it is just genetic and people are thin, beautiful, gorgeous, can eat what they want, can smoke, can take drugs, can drink alcohol, and they still look like a 21-year-old Naomi Campbell or Brad Pitt. And yeah, good for them. Ah, that is nice. Right, oh, eyes. So yeah, bit of Palmer's cocoa butter. Can't go wrong with that. I'm just telling you I'm getting ready for a night out. What do you wish? Also, um, junk food, that doesn't help. Eat a McDonald's, have a kebab, and you might have a breakout, especially if you're a bit younger. Um, not to mention, it's just crap in it and it's bad for you. What was I doing? Eyes, eyes, eyes. Um, so, try and watch what you eat, but there's no way I'm gonna not have fun and drink wine and have the odd takeaway, what's my mum tonight? Because I want to have nice skin, absolutely no way. I think you can have, you can have both. Yeah. Um, but if you do, if you are a bit of a bad, your diet is bad, and you're not eating fruit and veg and stuff, or you're really busy and you just grab a butty when you can or whatever, butty, that's um, games late for a sandwich. Um, then try a good broad spectrum multivitamin. But I suppose if you're washing your face with fairy liquid, the last thing you're gonna to remember to do is take a vitamin. I take the Wellman one. Is it in there? Wellman, and they do a Wellwoman. And for the jokes out there, because I'm gay, no, I don't have Wellwoman, I have Wellman. I do have a prostate. Um, even though I did dry my face with a sanitary bag. too much of this but I'm not wasting it. Remember the excess can go over the top of the lips. Yeah so multivitamin also so that's number one two so one was water two was junk food three was smoking four take a vitamin five and if you're like me this is difficult this one sleep your body rejuvenates and that includes your skin because your skin is part of your body when you sleep a good night's sleep is essential. I've not had one for about 72 years, it feels. And apparently a study does say that if you, haven't, if you don't have a good night's sleep one night, your body should, if you stay awake the next day and don't have a nap, should sleep the next night. There's also other things to consider. Stress, we all get stressed. Sun exposure, worst one. Sun beds, we've all tanned the sun beds back in the day, most of us did, I know I did. Avoid sun beds, avoid sun exposure as much as you can, and if you do, use a good SPF. Um, sun medications can make your skin bad, unfortunately. Um, and hygiene, this sounds really daft, but little things like your pillow, your pillowcase. If you're not washing your bed in regularly and you are sleeping on your pillow every night, pillowcase every night, that's on your pillow, and you're not cleansing and cleaning properly, and it's got makeup on it, fake tan, or whatever, just dirt and grime, and you're uh, uh, on it for seven hours, then that isn't gonna be good. So keep your pillowcases clean. Oh, this wine's very nice. 
that's my um, little tip anyway with the pillowcase because you don't want a grubby pillowcase. Oh, my hair before when I got out of the shower. I dried it without looking. When I come in here, what I fry a tuck. It's getting very thick there, but it's gone very long. And that spray I used yesterday, I was very impressed with it. I forgot to say in the video, it washed out really easy like it said it would. Oh, this vest, God, it looked like it fit a three-year-old. My skin's feeling really nice now. Hydrated. The HA is very good at night, um, before you get to bed. I mean, you, can, you can't forget, if you put that at the side of your bed, just pet a little bit out and squeeze it on. That's great. So yeah, that's just me. I'm going to, um, what am I going to do? I'm going to definitely going to top that wine up and then I'm going to go over to my friends across the way who we're, we're all self-isolating because we all live in the same place. And, oh, I'll take a bit of moisturizer over to actually. I should have done this before my eye cream. Oh my God, do as I say, not as I do. Um, we're going to have a takeaway. Because why not, it's Friday. Nice bra spectrum. This is the Lumen moisturising balm that I do really like. So yeah, let me know folks what you're up to. I'm gonna start a YouTube channel because two people sent messages, so it's made me feel like an expert. No, I'm actually quite enjoying this. And someone put on a comment the other day that it could be my calling in life. Yeah. But a broad spectrum channel, I think. Not just a channel on skincare, but some reviews, some rants, keeping, especially at the moment when everyone's bored and then sick of Jeff, Jeff, please. You can have my banker and I'll eat my other chicken. That is driving me mad. Um, yeah, there we go, guys. I'll speak to you soon, probably. Well, through the phone. Bye-bye.